Space water supply system has a very complex infrastructure, and the footage you are about to see is truly unique. Never before have astronauts done something like this for a TV audience. All the bolts that we have. Here I unscrewed one of them already. You see what happens to it, it's really tiny. And if it floats away, well, we won't find it. But I can attach it to my uniform like this and zip it up. Then I can take off another one. And again, put it away. Because if we lose it, we won't find it. We've been through that on the station. I'm taking off this ventilation shaft and... Then the panel that covers the environmental control system. I'm going to send it temporarily to the transfer compartment. So here we have the environmental control system. Basically, it's a big refrigerator that cools air. Moisture contained in the air is condensed on its surface and pumped through pipes further to the purification system. The length of the pipe, which goes in, in that direction, is about five meters. I'm trying to explain how it works in plain words, not to overload you with too much information. So the water condenses on the cooled surfaces, then it's collected into a container specially designed for weightlessness, and a special pump forwards it through a pipe to the purification system, which I'll show you next. Let's continue. I'm going to take off the panels that cover our space waterworks, our water supply system, and try to explain how the water from the ECS is, is purified in the multi-filtration unit. After the ECS, as I said, the water finds its way here, behind this panel. I, I took it off for you, not to bore you with excessive technical details. I'll just say that the con condensate collected by the ECS is very dirty, so before using it to make food or drinks, we need to purify it. That's why this condensate goes to the BKO Miltov filtration unit. After pumping condensate through this unit, we get very pure and potable water, enriched with minerals. The multi-filtration unit purifies is to a distilled state. It has a special mixture inside that enriches water with minerals, almost the same way it's, it's done. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, the battery in my flashlight has died. So this system basically works the same way as a water filtration system that we sometimes have under the sink at home, only with some adjustments for space environment. So, after passing through the BKO multi-filtration unit of the ECS, our water becomes clean. Now it's, now it's good for consuming. We have this special water dispenser with a, a, a water heating function. This is a cold water, like at home, and, and hot water. To show you something interesting, um, I'm going to make a cup of space tea from the nice and pure water provided to us by the water supply system. We have these soft bags that already have tea and sugar inside. I cut off the edge to get access to a valve. We call it swallowtail because of their resemblance. It prevents water from pouring back out of the bag after filling it. 
Next, I open the tap and turn on the water pump. And here I have hot water being poured into my teacup. Usually we make around eight of these runs. You can probably hear the pump working. One run is 25 milliliters, so a cup of tea is 200 milliliters. See the water is hot, so tea is already steeping. Okay. That's it. The cup is full, and so I close the tap. And in three to four minutes, I'll enjoy a cup of great tea. Naturally, we can't avoid some droplets of water appearing here, and so here I have my sweet tea. This is how water recycling works on the station, not only in our part, but in the U.S. segment as well. It helps us to save water, reduce the freight traffic, and and bring down the cost of the station's maintenance. Next, I will show you the distribution panel of a cargo vehicle and explain how we get the water out of it to refill the Rodnik system and water storage tanks. A resupply spacecraft usually delivers around 400 liters of water to tanks, 200 liters each. Again, it's it's uh, extra pure water that uh, we can drink or put into the electron system to generate oxygen. I will... I'm going to show you all of this next. Dear viewers, one more source of potable water on the station is the uh, Progress cargo vehicle where we are located right now. There's not much room here, so forgive me if the recording is uh, not very clean or clear. Well, I'm doing what I can, so just bear with me. Here. We have waste cargo that is ready to be disposed of, and this is the oxygen supply system, SRPK, that we use to transfer water from the tanks of the cargo ship. There are two tanks, 200 liters each. This is a, a, a valve unit. We pressurize the tank with the help of an uh, air compressor. The pressure is not too high, around 0 0.5 atmospheres. We connect water lines to, to these connectors. and. And open the valve. And the water is squeezed out into water containers called EDV. Next, we can use these EDV containers to get water for drinking or install them into the electron uh, system, which generates oxygen. Usually, a, a cargo vehicle brings us around 400 liters of water, but sometimes there are extra 22 liter water containers as an additional supply. Because in space, the same really as, as on Earth, there's really not much you can do without water. It really is the essential component of life support on the station. Dear viewers, I almost forgot to show you an additional system of water supply. We can also use it to get uh, potable water. The water reserves are stored outside of the Zvezda module in two 200-liter water tanks. This is an emergency supply, and this panel here hides two water containers with water that we drink throughout the day. If you get thirsty, you can just grab this dispenser. See this red button? You need to pressurize the container by pumping some air into it. And let's say an astronaut has completed his workout for the day. Naturally, he is thirsty after it, so you run on the treadmill or you can pedal the exercise bicycle, and then you come here and you drink. Same as at home. Basically, you come over here, pour yourself some filtered high-quality water, and drink it. 
I'm going to show you what's hidden behind this panel to give you a clearer picture. This is a panel with valves, one valve for each water tank. The process is extremely simple. We create pressure in the tank with the help of a small compressor. And water simply uh, flows over into a container uh, for further use. And here we have two EDV containers. One of them is hooked up with these uh, lines to the water dispenser, which allows us to be able to drink our water.